Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is my first ever thrift flip video on my channel. I'm really excited for this because honestly, I've been in stuck at home because of the So I'm staying home and doing everything I can, like a lot of productive things that I can at home so I can keep myself busy. So I'm really excited for this. So apparently I switched a mini skirt into a dress for the summer that you can definitely like wear it out casually or out like dressing up and all that good stuff. So I got this really cute skirt from my sister's class. If you go to ECU or Pitt Community College, definitely check it out. It has amazing clothes. And I had my eye on this like skirt and I thought it was a dress, but it was actually a skirt because I got it from the skirt section. And I was thinking how about turning this into a really, really, really nice sexy dress for the summertime when the virus dies down and we are able to go out whenever we please so i got this nice little dress here it has like a little bit of a shape because i want to have a little bit of a shape this is the dress right here so big and this is the back of the dress and we have the buttons right here in the back it's rough but it's great but it does have a little zipper slip this actually is this bottom part used to be like the top part of the skirt like the zipper is like used to zip up you know the back of the skirt but i thought how about having this as a little slit which is a really good tip for anyone who is flipping a midi skirt or any type of skirt into like a top or dress thinking about um with the zipper of the part of the skirt or whatever, you can just use that as a slip part because this dress, actually the fabric, the denim fabric is not stretchy. So I thought about this little slit and keep it on so it can allow in some leg room. So I'm really excited. Keep on watching this video if you wanna know how to do this really, really easy. It should take you like, for like a couple of hours or so but before i go on to this video please 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 subscribe to this channel it will help you so much please give this video a thumbs up if you're liking the flip flip videos and if you do this lets me know that i should really do these more in the future because i have like a couple more exciting things that i made that i can show to you guys on this channel and Please, please, please turn on the notification bell to know when I upload a video. It's going to take like a month or even like a couple weeks for me to upload a video on here. And then please, if you like this video or have any suggestions, please go in the comments below. I would love to check these out. So, now, let's get into this drip. So, look at this, y'all. This Bratz-esque skirt right here is from a thrift shop in my college town called My Sister's Closet. It's in Greenville, North Carolina. So if you attend ECU or Pitt Community College, this is the one. This is a thrift store for you. And right now I have this skirt. I do not know what brand this is, but mine, the back and forth. But this skirt right here is about to be a poppin' summer dress. So if you guys have anything just comment down below but without further ado let's get it started Woo if you're wondering this is actually a dress from rainbow but yeah i like it if i ever get to feature this dress from rainbow it's gonna be beautiful whenever i show it to you guys on the gram but yeah love it so we got this skirt here so we, first thing we're gonna do is put it in reverse like so and we have the seam ripper so we're gonna do the opening of the dress. So we're showing where like the bust part, like the top part of the dress, and then the bottom part of the dress is where the zipper is will be our slit. So what we're gonna do here is to seam rip the first part of the back of the dress. Keep the zipper. Keep the zipper. Please keep the zipper. Don't waste your time. 
So we're gonna seam with this part of the dress here for opening once again where you can put your either zippers or buttons or whatever you use to open up the dress and to keep it secure. So what we got here is the back of the dress here. I switched it to a t-shirt because this dress is very curvy. It has some curves in it. Don't use a white dress, but I did because it was the only thing available to me. So what we're going to do now is to draw with a marker the shape of the dress. So when we are on the sewing machine, we're able to know like where and how we should stitch the dress. So we're going to use the sides here and we're going to cut off the sides as well once we get from the sewing machine. I don't have a video of full video of the sides because my camera suck and my room is a little bit not good at all. So all we're going to do is smooth out the dress. I'm a perfectionist when it comes to sewing so everything has to be perfect. It has to be adjusted the white right way. And we're going to Ooh, here's the shape now. Next thing we need are our safety pins or push pins. I use push pins because that's like the only thing available. But safety pins, safety pins would have been like the best bet, y'all. So what we're gonna do is to put the pins along the lines where we draw the dress. So that when we're on the sewing machine, it is able to keep those lines in place so it won't go out and we accidentally stitched the wrong places in the dress. So when we are able to try on the dress, it is like a a little bit of a, a little bit on a trial and error. Now we're going to be on the sewing machine and to stitch it up, stitch that baby up. So I didn't show you the size of the dress, but I did show you the opening. I did cut it a little bit deeper because it's easier for me to fit in. I have a really curvy bust. But I stitch it up to prevent like fraying and all that stuff. And also it's easier for me to get back in the dress. So we're going to sew in some buttons here real quick. I have buttons available to me. So here what it is. Here what the dress looks like. The buttons. It's a little bit rough out there because it's my first time doing like a button. And also the opening of the button sewing on there. So it's really good for a first timer. A little bit rough but... Here's the front of the dress here. So, show you how the front of the dress. I think there's a little thread across there. It's all right. But here's the front of the dress here. I love the lining. Once I like iron it, it will look nice and the shape will be more existent. But here's the slip, the zipper slip. So you can customize the zipper to how much like of a slit you want. I'm sorry for confusing it with slip with slip, but Here's the dress again as a whole. So I'm going to style it with a few things. Really excited. And boom, here's the fit that I paired with it. The earrings, the sunglasses, and the shoes are from Forever 21. The necklace is from Indie Man Boutique. And then the belt is from my mom's closet. My mom probably let me have it. I kind of stole it from my mom's closet. But this is the fit that I would have paired with this. You can switch in the boots with the sandals for warmer weather but this is the perfect fit to wear out on a really good day when you're feeling saucy when you're feeling you're that girl you are like the girls can't eat uh -uh, the girls could never and here you have it, folks this wonderful amazing dress that you can wear once you get out of quarantine or out of like the house or whatever for the summer for all your little get togethers. I'm really excited, really, really proud of this piece. With that in mind, please, please, please love this, like this video up. If you wanna see more thrift flip videos, I'm really excited to do more in this channel. I'm currently doing like another one. This is gonna go crazy, crazy on this channel. So please look out for that video. I'm really, really excited. I'm finishing up with the video. So I can show you like a little outfit to wear with it and all that really cute stuff. Thank you guys for watching this video and I really hope you look out for some more videos. Bye guys!